Don't forget, always like, comment, subscribe. These guys do great yard sales. Great yard sales. <laughs> you'll learn something. You want video, you'll be educated. It's a free education, and these guys know what they're doing. That's Don't awesome. Previously on JRPG Life. We're at the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo, Ontario, California. It would be really cool if we could trade this towards a big chunk of a CIB Earthbound. Yeah. That's like pr prime option. But if we can get some other cool gaming stuff for it, and get just a decent amount of trade, we're not expecting to get the whole value of it. No. So first off, we really wanted to see what this dedicated pop collector would give us for the Greedo. And he was kind of interested, but in general, we didn't want to take a cash offer right now. We really wanted to entertain our other options. This is what we like to see. Look at this. Wow. Look at this. It's the most Vita games I've seen outside of our house. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look. Oh. oh my goodness. That's the one right there. That's the one we need. Once we saw this, we knew immediately what we wanted. Even if we didn't have to trade the Greedo for it, even if it was something else, we needed this game. Uh, have to... So that's what we want right there. That's one of the few we missed out on when it first came out. Like, hey, you want to trade for a trade for a pot? Because that would be sweet. This vendor had two copies of AW Phoenix Festa, and we really wanted an open one, but he didn't have one, which is okay. So he was looking at the Greedo very, very carefully, and he wasn't—he's not a pop expert, but he knows that there's some really popular ones out there. You know, Star Wars. Everyone knows Star Wars. If you know anyone that's got an open copy, like... I don't know anyone. Yeah. Because uh, we just want to play it. Let me see. I'll try to help you guys out. Yeah. I'm just scared it may be poop. If I had anyone to authenticate this, yeah. we'd be good. Dude, could... is there someone here that would... That's what that I could recommend? Can you watch the booth with my wife for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're going to go to OG Collectibles. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. He called upon his friend that is the pop expert. This guy is a Pops authenticator. He knows what's real, and apparently he has a reputation for doing so. They go by OG Collectibles. Check them out online if you get a chance. Really, really nice guys. So you do a lot of Pops, it sounds like, huh? Uh, what's it called? I used to collect them pretty hardcore alongside games. And you know, uh, our shop does like Pops games, Pokemon cards. Yeah. So I- Whenever I get anything really heavy, I always contact them. It's common for them to have game flaws like that. Like, it's more just like the box itself, and then, uh, what's it called, the material, the figure. Like this, I can tell, is vinyl at the very least, so it's at least the right material. I'm confident saying it's legit. Confident? Yes, I'm very right. confident. Just don't come uh, at him if the money is It's legit, it just has the, the little uh, dings there. right here. Yeah. Okay, so what just, do you value it? Oh god, why is this? Just, just, just look it up. <laughs> it's, 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 PPG is 15.20. I know. If you were to price in the store it's, right it's now, what would you price it? It's in real tight, by the way. Okay, yeah, uh, okay don't, I'll do it. Don't, don't take it. Why do you take it? Okay, fine. You can, it's fine. Just don't just catch any of the corners. So, because of that, and then there was a ding here, and then one in the back. Oh, here. Indicator was looking at every little minor detail on this pop. And we're not pop ups first, so I was just praying. Please, please, <laughs> value this pop. If this came to the shop and then like, what would I you sticker it at in the shop. Would I sticker it? That's what would you sticker it at? Yeah. safer side and probably say like like maybe 12. like mid mid it ranges a lot it like you know from from like 15 and up every three months like around the 15 to 17 50 range for mint ones okay for the three mix that it has like there there and there i would be like i would play it safe and do it at 12. that's all i need okay thank appreciate you. it man thank you. Um, thank you yeah so what do you think i think we have a deal yeah, we could do that. All right, appreciate you, man. For us, this is a better find. We came in here wanting an Earthbound or a discount off one, but 
getting the most valuable RPG on the Vita is, is right up our alley. It's something we've wanted, it's something we missed out on, we didn't even, it wasn't even in our heads to think that it would be here. It was not only here, but we traded a $4 pop for a listed $1,500 game. It's not worth $1,500, but to us, it is. Excellent trade, I'm so happy we got this. Good morning. We are uh, here in the hotel ready to check out for day two of the uh, retro SoCal Retro Gaming Expo. We were thinking that, you know, we bought two bangers yesterday, right? We got this, Chrono Trigger, Complete in Box, and Solo to Robo. We already have both these loose. So why don't we trade the loose ones? See if we can get a deal. Now, what I'd really want to do is, we saw that sweet metal slime Vita. Yeah. And they wanted 400 bucks. It's worth like 260, but you know what else is worth 260? Solo to Robo. Or that one could be as well. So like maybe they'll just straight trade it. If they overvalue this, they overvalue the other one. Maybe we could make a deal, because I'm sure there aren't many Solus Robos for sale at the con right now. Yeah, we saw a lot of Chrono Triggers, but I didn't I, I saw a couple of Solo to Robos, but mm -hmm. they were complete. So That'd be sweet. Either that or what I'd really like to do is combine these forces together and get something ultra awesome. Ultra, ultra awesome. So let's see how it goes. We're going to do some panels today or go to some panels today. Uh, definitely going to go see Retro Rick and um, maybe John Riggs panel as well and just bop around a little bit more and find some more stuff. We have some loose things we're looking for uh, to complete some boxes and some stuff for her brother that we're going to look out for. So yeah. Just more stuff to buy and uh, maybe there will be some new vendors there today to sell some new stuff. Or there will be some sweet deals on bulk buys. Yeah. On like uh, Wii U stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Because yeah. we could go for our complete collection. Yep. So stay tuned. So just found this. That's one we need. Because, you know, we're going to play that. <laughs> we're not going to play that. No, we're not. Yeah. No, we're not. How's the part? Uh, let's see. Looks good. Yeah, Looks like it wasn't played. Imagine that. Oh my gosh. Game. The Game Boy. Look at this. Man. This is so nice. That's one we don't have. How much are you asking for this? Yeah. 600? Wait, yeah. which version are you getting? Metal Slug 4 and 5. How much? Oh no, that's a super game. Wait. Wait a minute. That's pretty sweet. That's my first hand band tonight. Oh, that's sorry, baby. Oh, we already got that one. Oh, uh, look what's right next to it. Dokapon? Oh. Oh, man. How much for a Dokapon? Yes, um, 80. How much? 80. 80? It's really cool. I like your lanyard. Thanks. Oh, look, Summer Night? Yeah. It's our cap story. It's pretty nice. That's sweet. Let's see what else. Look at giant silver Pikachu. Yeah. That's that's wild. Alright, so we're gonna buy. What'd you say? So what'd you do for all three of these? So this one's actually my buddies, oh, okay. uh, but I could do 100 for these, so I knock off 10 bucks. So one thirty? Huh? That sounds good to me. Do you ever suddenly remember a game that you completely forgot about from your childhood? No, I have perfect memory all the time. Okay, well I do it all the time. Okay. Check this out. Pirates. I actually owned this game and I used to play the crap out of it. It's kind of an RTS. And oh man, it just brought back some serious nostalgia, so I might have to get that. That is so cool. I think it's a little sun beach, but you know what? I think I gotta have it. Wow. I completely forgot about this game. Anybody else play this game ever? It's pretty crazy. So here at Game Tower's booth, pretty famous uh, LA store. Yeah. Got some sweet things. Check this out. I haven't seen this one at all at the con since right now. That's crazy. That's awesome. The other one we didn't have in the collection. At least I found this, another RPG for the DS, Inuyasha. Do we have 
Yeah. And you don't have the sleeve, so you want this one. Yeah, so I have this game. I want the sleeve. <laughs> I have problems because I love expensive cardboard. Yes. I don't know if we have more to do that. I feel like we should, yeah. right? Not sure. Let's take a look. Let's pull out the live here. Xbox collection. Let's pull this out and go to the Xbox. We have no games to start with P. So, it's out with clean? Let's find out. I mean, the cover's a little rough. Yeah, it's not bad. It's all about the disc. It's super oh. clean. It's like perfect. Oh, is it resurfaced? It has some. Sp uh, like, no, it's good. Light. Like maybe it took a twirl one day. Yeah, looks great. I swear we have this. How do we not have this? I know, right? We just keep missing out on it. Take the sunroof. We're going to trade our loose chrono trigger for an eye hander. Well, maybe we should bundle. How much is a loose car that we sold here? <laughs> like 250 so I know. Our family dog is yeah. St. Bernard, but. Uh, oh, they St. Bernard. They, uh, they went to New Mexico, so must rule. Or maybe that in Topo Bot since it's so cheap. <laughs> and that one's worth obviously like $250 yeah. as well. That's fine, man. We'll do it. You want to do that? Yeah. Well, awesome. Appreciate it. And then, uh. Combo. You saw this trade earlier. We traded a loose Chrono Trigger cart for these two sweet games. Same vendor, Game Tower. We also picked up Inuasha for On DS, The Secret of the Divine Jewel. Pretty excited about this. This is an RPG. Technically, I already have this one, but I'm crazy and I want the cardboard slip cover because I love expensive cardboard. Daniel Pickup. This is Tornado Outbreak. Pretty unique PS3 game. Keep an eye out for it if you like something a little different. Lastly, we got Panzer Dragoon Orca. So we stopped by Robert's booth. He's uh, on Instagram and he goes by Chubsby Gaming. Make sure you check him out. Link in the description below. We picked up a few games from him. He made us a sweet deal. So first of all, Patris for the Game Boy. Another uh, 3DS game we needed. This is the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. That one's complete. Pokemon Dash, also complete. This is a great one. We've been wanting this orange 2DS and he made us a great deal on that. That one's super clean and complete. It looks like it's been opened and never played. Awesome. And then for Lisa's brother, Tales of the World Radiant Mythology for the PSP. What a great game. So thank you, Robert. Uh, awesome dude and awesome channel. Really appreciate you. We also attended the panel for Retro Rick, and he had a Q&A portion for the audience. And one of the questions was, what was the last Super Nintendo game released? And I knew immediately, and I knew if I stood up, I was gonna forget my name and what I was gonna say. So I whispered Daniel, Frogger. <laughs> and he stood up and he was correct. And we got this. So this is Pocket Monsters Red. It's the Japanese ver version of Pokemon Red. So pretty cool. Exciting to add this to the collection as well. We also picked up some Japanese games, and uh, this one we actually picked up is Goemon, the third Goemon for Super Famicom. We also picked up the first Goemon for Super Famicom. We've been looking for these for a while. We couldn't find the second one. That's okay. These are super fun platformers. If you haven't played them yet, you can play them. And it doesn't matter if you can read them because they're platformers. And it's pretty easy to get through. This was a sweet find. We actually picked up Megami Tensei for the Super Famicom. Super clean and complete. This is going right on our Persona Shimigami Tensei shelf. This is awesome. We did a bundled deal with another vendor and we found this girl's fashion shoot for 3DS. Yay! Uh, so we're going complete on 3DS, so we gotta get all the filler titles as well. And then, Dope Kingdom! Awesome. This one's a little cheaper than the Wii version, but as long as we have one copy, I'm pretty happy about it. And lastly, for the Xbox, we have Metal Slug 4 and Metal Slug 5. 
We also went by John Riggs booth, obviously chatted with him. Great guy. Uh, picked up his custom game. It is Yeah Yeah Beavis 2. A really cool custom platformer. You can kind of see how that looks. And uh, excited to add that to the collection with its super clean, full NES box. We went back for something from the Final Fantasy Legends 3 booth. Sabrina the Animated Series Spooks. Now, if you haven't heard about this, I heard about this game from Radical Reggie, and he says that this plays similar to a platform style of Shantae. So, Elise is going to play a non-JRPG for once, play a platformer. We picked up some uh, decals. This is a pretty decal. A inflating Kirby? I don't know what you'd call him. A sweet pink Kirby decal. And then a blue slime. This is actually going on Elisa's blue car. It'll be perfect. There was a Dreamcast game there we needed, Time Stalkers. Got that for a decent price. Excited to add that to the collection. Sega 3D Classics collection for the uh, 3DS. This was a good deal. A lot of great games on it. Another one we needed to be complete. Hasura's Wrath. This is one that I missed out on when I would saw him at GameStop for months and months and months and months, and now it's more expensive. You can see that price on there at one point. This went for $18. Are you kidding me? Now, obviously, it's worth more than that, but it's finally in our collection. We don't need to hunt for it anymore. And then one more, just Toe Jam and Earl on the Switch. This is a cool limited run re-release, and uh, we're pretty excited to have that in the collection. We stopped by Game Realms booth, and I had the nicest conversation with one of the owners. I didn't catch her name, but we talked a lot about one of my favorite games, Secret of Mana, and she gave me a sweet discount on this art book for Mana series. It's all the way from Final Fantasy Adventure to Rise of Mana, which I believe is a phone game that's coming out soon. Video game accessories. We uh, really wanted these. Retrobit was there. They were one of the main sponsors of the event and they were selling their wares super cheap. You know, cut the middleman out, buy right from them. Great pricing. Retrobit uh, N64, this is the nice kind of tribute style. I love this controller. It was like 12 bucks, I think. They sold it really cheap there. Picked up the eight button Genesis wireless retro bit controller. These were 30 bucks. I know they go for more than that locally. Stoked to get the clear blue one. We're gonna use this a lot, especially when we play through uh, Pure Solar. Lastly, the Sega Saturn wireless controller from Retrobit. This thing is fantastic. To get a wireless controller on the Saturn and all the Saturn games we wanna play, is excellent. We're going to be using this for Magic Knight Rare Earth, obviously. We already used it on the stream. It was great. Thank you, Retrobit. Last vendor of the expo. We were being pushed out of the door at this point because it was the end. And I decided that I couldn't part with this Arc the Lad collection. It's fully complete. It's got all everything in here, the manual, all the little doodads. And then we also got a Witch's Tale. It's been chewed up by a dog, but he threw this in since we were buying this guy. Very happy with that. Stay tuned next week for our third and final episode in the SoCal Retro Gaming Expo experience in which we ask a lot of people what their favorite and least favorite RPGs are that they've ever played. You'll be surprised by some of these answers. If you can pick any RPG, okay. what's your number one? So, <laughs> one RPG you can pick of any time, what's your favorite? Okay, what is your favorite JRPG of all time? One RPG. All time. What would you pick? 